barbecue season presents unique challenges for the backyard chef. In a professional kitchen, there are regulatory requirements to prevent cross-contamination. In the backyard, it's easy to let food safety become as casual as the food you are cooking. Here are five easy steps to ensure a safe and successful backyard barbecue. You must wash your hands before and after handling raw food. The entire hand washing process should take at least 20 seconds and should include the following steps. First, wet hands and arms with running warm water. Second, apply enough soap to build up a good lather. Third, scrub your hands and arms vigorously for about 10 to 15 seconds. Be sure to clean under your fingernails and between fingers. Fourth, rinse your hands and arms thoroughly under running warm water. Last, dry your hands and arms with a single-use paper towel or a hand dryer. When packing your cooler, it is important to keep raw food, such as this raw hamburger meat, away from food that will not be cooked, including side dishes and drinks. When you're packing your raw hamburger meat, you want to pack it in a separate cooler with ice designated for the raw meat that will not be used for drinks. When prepping the hamburgers, make sure you use a separate surface than you use for cutting your ready-to-eat food, such as your toppings and condiments. I'm using this cutting board to form my raw hamburgers, but I'm using this cutting board to cut my tomatoes. And of course, I'm washing my hands between touching the raw hamburger meat and cutting my tomatoes. It's important to never use the same utensils and plate for cook patties that you used for your raw patties. You must use a clean plate and utensils for your cooked patties. Your cooked patties should never touch any surface that was touched by the raw patties. Trying to get food ready for a bunch of volleyball game players and your picnic guests is a struggle for any chef, but you want to make sure you give your food sufficient time to come up to proper temperature to prevent foodborne illness. For a hamburger, you want to take the temperature in the thickest part of the hamburger and take at least two readings. It should come up to at least 155 degrees for 15 seconds. Remembering these five steps can make your party a fun, safe event. Washing your hands correctly is extremely important. Also, remember how to pack your cooler, keep raw food separate from ready-to-eat food, never use the same plate or utensils for cooked patties that you used for raw meat, and once grilling begins, make sure your burgers are cooked to the correct internal temperature. Stay tuned as we launch National Food Safety Month 2012 in September. We have many more fun activities, games, and challenges for you to use in your restaurant or at home. And remember, be safe, don't cross-contaminate.